Welcome back. To Bronze League Heroes! In the top left, a noob from Austria. That's definitely what he meant. Jakra, who has decided not to move his first overlord. Um, okay. And in the bottom right, noob from also Austria. Wow, noob from astronomical units with a pylon. Uh, doing just enough to be able to wall off some of his ramp, but not all of his ramp. A very early scout. But the probe, it sneaks around. It has avoided the Overlord because the Overlord has deemed it... Uh, oh, 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 oh. The map hacks kick in. He scouts with the Overlord. He sees the pylon on the way. A forge, of course. Of course it's a cannon rush. The pylon will complete. No reaction out of Jakra. Let's go to the Jakra action cam. He's going down for an expansion. He has not looked at his mini-map yet. The probe is chasing him. Decides to let the drone go. When will Jakra realize he's seen the pylon? He's seen the probe. He was staring at that. This is his camera. We're looking at the Jakra cam right now. He sees the pylon. Okay. Okay. You see the wheels turning. One into gas. Okay. The Overlord will be sent out. He saw the... He sees it. Anytime. Jakra! Jakra, there are cannons! There are cannons, Jakra! You saw the pylon! You saw the probe! He's making three more drones! Ah, he sees the cannons! Oh, hi, says Jakra. Jakra, finally seeing what was in front of his own eyes all along. A queen on the way. No Zerglings. Noob from AU setting up a wall and cannons at the back. Oh, hi. Why, hello there. Welcome to my humble abode. I see you have some cannons. Would you like a tour of my spawning pool? A roach weren't on the way. The spawning pool is in range, potentially, of this cannon. Some friendly bants. Some friendly bants. <laughs> this is great banter. <laughs> the queen going to work on the pylon. The probe going to work on the queen. The, the cannon going to work. He's going for the pylon. Unfortunately, the cannon's... The cannon cleavage is a little bit too much, and, and the lings can't slip through. The queen taking some hits. More cannons. He's going to try to get them behind the mineral. Can he actually do that? I, I don't know if I've ever seen it go this deep before. Three cannons back at home. Of course, you can't actually get cannons in range of the hatchery because of the creep. But he does get an assimilator. The queen sniped off. Those cannons came out of nowhere. Roaches are out. Will he kill the probe? The probe dodges away. Uh, Jakra has no gas. He just rebuilt an assimilator. Another another pylon. J Noob from AU has, has walled himself out of expanding. His only probe outside the map is on the opposite side. More cannons on the high ground. Jakra doesn't actually have vision of that in particular. He has vision of this cannon. The spine should be able to take that one out. It will. What? What a cancel. On the probe, the probe, the precious probe. He's gotten rid of the probe, but has he gotten rid of the probe? The pylons can be taken out, so this cannon rush will result in a killing of the spawning pool. Um, he, he's killed a queen, a couple zerglings, but he's also invested hundreds upon hundreds of minerals and cannons. And and Jokra is starting to show signs of life here. Has a ravager as well. So, uh, we'll eventually be able to chip down these cannons. But there are two gates behind. What is the transition? A Twilight Council. But of course. But of course. Another, another corrosive bow. The shields have almost fully... Oh, but the cannon. In range of the Ravager. The duel begins. Da -da -da duel As Jakra stares down a thousand minerals. He actually builds three more overlords. But he stares down the cannon. The cannon stares down the Ravager. Give him, both of them given the side eye. 
as there's not much else. Six, six overlords. That may be, that will give him 48 supply potential. He's at 28 supply, so that will unsupply block him. But the cannon's able to flank the overlords as they come out gunning down one. Good thing he made all those extra ovies. There's more will pop out. Some more ravagers as well. Another corrosive bomb with the cannon going to work on the overlord. The overlord will dodge away. On the other side, a, 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 a dark shrine. The corrosive biles will fall one at a time. Da -da -da. Down with the cannon. 22 to 36 supply. Of course it's it's Dark Templar. Of course it is. The overlords follow by. Watching closely. The corrosive biles almost managed to hit the only spot where they wouldn't hit, but they do connect on the pylon as Jakra works his way out of the base. Cannon rush into one base Dark Templar. This is a classic Protoss tactic. This is why people hate Protoss. The Corrosive Biles, almost there. One more Ravager. Three, they're warping it in the main! They're, the pylons are still here. There's still plenty of pylons. Oh. He is able to tech all the way up to DTs. He could go straight for the lair. He's just gonna slice through all the drones. There's only 15 drones left. He wasn't able to clear out the cannons in time. He's making three overseers. But the DTs themselves might be able to kill everything. He's gonna go, he gets the spore. He can kill more, he doesn't know what he wants. Oh, when he comes out, the DT's trying to escape. They are working their way back home from inside of his main, but 15 workers to 22. One DT survives, one out of three. Not a, not a great um, mortality rate on a Dark Templar here. Those rocks had it coming. But 34 to 24 supply. And now if he's going to be a dirty, dirty Protoss, it's time to transition into... A Stargate is on the way. The pylon will be biled, but... This is... He, he, he read the textbook. All right, he did his homework. One more DT warps in. He's going for the drones. The cannon's still going to work. The DT... He's down back down to 18 drones. Oh, he could kill the Ravager. Where, where did he what did he think was going to happen I'm not sure he had no exit strategy well the DT gets a few more it's 17 to 22 workers we're 8 minutes and 15 seconds into the match the cannon whips out a ravager kill before being finally depowered and the last remnants of the cannon rush but another dark templar the one from before slips into the net he's going towards the workers avoid right in the production tab the DT is continuing to eviscerate the mineral lines more drones? Well, actually, no, he doesn't know what he wants. He's going for the spore. That will actually kill the drone as well. Another drone. He, he's lost 22, 23 drones so far, which is impressive because he only has 12 left. He's back where he started. Jakra struggling to defend. But what will he have against the Chrono Boosted Void Rays? New from AU, unfortunately, is mining out. And we're not entirely sure he knows how to kill his own buildings. So he may be making a war prism Good. in order to expand. Now I have your attention. And Thank one array tilde. Um. Is that, is that the, pl I mean. Because of course that's what he's doing. Because of course this is what's happening. But he will fly by some of the only overlords left on this side of the map. Very sneakily taking a pet. He's microing it. He's got 1,800 minerals. Let's go to the noob from UA clan, uh, AU clan. Noob from Australia. It's almost easier to say Australia than AU. AU, AU, AU. John Madden, John Madden. John Madden.
23 to 22 workers. Jakra has stabilized, but the void rays have been scouted. The expansion will be blocked by the constant... Nope. Uh, all right. Oh. Oh. And finished. Two void rays on the way. A hydra is done. The only anti-air is two queens and one spore. Of course, uh, noob from Australia is expanding. Well, and it looks like he's going to double expand in some very creative locations. But here come the void rays. The hydra is done. It is complete. No hydras on the way quite yet. This queen will be taken out. A third void ray. Where are the corros the corrosive biles? He he flies into them. A lot of damage on one of these void rays. He's going for another queen though. The target fire isn't quite there. The void rays are locked on, and the queen has leg cramps off a creep. It's not going to be enough. No, hydra's on the way. Another queen pops out. The spore crawler is trying to move up. The void rays are too focused. They can't figure out what they want. He loses one. The spore crawler flanks in from the side. Another void ray will fall. Six hydras on the way. The spore crawler trying to make its way around, but the numbers have been thinned out. Once again, one out of three survive. He's trying to dodge the spore. He does. But the, the hydras are almost out. He's going to go for this. Can he hit it with corrosive bile? The hydras can definitely hit it. The last void ray is knocked away. But... New from Australia is mining from the top right. More void rays coming up. 12 minutes into the match, and we now have two bases versus two bases. These two probes standing by, the reserve probes. But the Hydra's on the way. The infestation pit. What's left? What is left in in Noob's tricks book? Trick book. Book of tricks. Bag of trick. Bag of trick. That's the one. Anyways. I can't. Fleet beacon? It has to be a fleet beacon. Okay. <laughs> That's the only thing we're missing here. The uh, cannon rush into the Dark Templar, into the Void Rays, into... It has to be carriers, doesn't it? It has to be. Two Stargate. Stargate Command coming online in the bottom right. But the attack commences. There are several cannons on the high ground. But... Is this going to be enough to break through? More Ravagers on the way. Jakra poised on the edge of victory. Making sure to rotate his probes work in shifts. A Spire, a Lurker Den, and a Hive on the way. On two bases. Zealots will be warped in. Unfortunately, he has also hardwalled himself in. Which makes these Zealots less than effective. Jakra. He's going to start to chip his way through. Only 1,600 minerals in the bank. He has to be careful. The Overlord's coming to help uh, get, lend their support. The corrosive biles will be chucked out. Another void ray will make its way northwards. Another round of biles. And down goes the power for the one cannon and two gates. There are more cannons where that came from. The Zealots come down. The Ravagers are microed back, but the Hydra's looking very strong. Somebody's accidentally used a ping. Almost shooting down his own overseers. But the cannons have fallen. A traffic jam on the ramp. There are four or five void rays. We could be just going into a base trade as Noob from AU. Looking like he's going to lose his main. But he has his uh, top right command post. What is here to defend? A couple queens, a couple spores, but that's five void rays. He's gonna fight. 
The queen's going down. No transfuses. The base is being gutted. We're in a base trade. The select all army hotkey is used. And he has to bring all of his forces all the way back home. The spore crawler is being taken down. One void ray will fall. More voids on the way. Another void ray. One queen left. Some hydras are popping out. The hydras are all the way on the way back. He can't figure out what he wants. The dark shrine not quite taken down. The nexus not quite taken down. The void ray is going to work. He's going to lose his expand. And it looks like Noob from AU might actually be up in basis. The mi the mining, he's almost mined out of his main, but he has 2,300 minerals. Does Jackra in the bank. He can build those. He's going to get a second spawning pool this game. But the hydra's coming up. He only has the muscular augments for him. The hydra's looking for a flank. There's still a Dark Shrine. There is still a Dark Shrine. One Void Ray taken down. The Hydra's going to rest and, and congratulate themselves on a job well done. The, none of the Warp Gates have power. He can't repower them. Half the probes are idle. He's going to almost kill the Dark Shrine. He's not quite there yet. This Nexus looking poised to fall. The final base will be now assaulted. That seems like way too many Hydralisks. But Jakra does not agree. Six Void Rays versus 20 Hydras. The Ravagers will not quite finish the job as the Selecto Army Hockey has seen a lot of usage. Oh, but... He's found some of the Hydras exposed here. We'll manage to lose one more Void Ray. Half the Hydras on the other side. He split the Hydras perfectly so that he won't have quite enough to actually kill the Void Rays. But the damage is coming through. Another Void Ray pops out. Another Void Ray goes down. But the Void Rays are going... I mean, we could be in an actual base trade. He kills another base coming out. The Hydras are, 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 are distracted. Only the roaches are coming back. Roaches don't have great anti-air. Going for the spire. More hydras popping out. Another void ray. Taking a lot of damage. He's trying to micro. He's microing his heart out. But unfortunately, that might be literal. Another void ray. He's down to two. Oh, one more spine. Gets it. The probes have made it back home. They ventured out into the world. They, they tried to establish their own independent colony. But, um... Limp back towards the main, a badly bruised Nexus. Jakra decides he's given up on this base uh, and will take the one to the south. Do it. You got this. The shot's fired. Knocks down the prism. The, the overlord sees it. There's an overlord in the main. He can see it. It's right there. Oh, God. He's repowered the warp gates. Which means DTs have been warped in again. This base has somehow gone completely unscouted from Jakra. Is there anything to kill the overseers? Literally none. Nothing. But the overseers are not in position. Oh, my God. The Overseers are coming back, but the DTs have sliced through, and they're killing drones! The Desperation Templar hold! He's working his way back to the other side! There's no Overseers! He's still got 42 drones go, though. Going for the hatch. The, the, the hero, the hero Dark Templar! The Zera tools of his victory! But, gets the queen, assassinates it, gets out. But on the other side, his units go back to the other side. The DTs will hold the main. He could maybe, he could actually kill, he kills another queen. There's a dream. Another queen loses 
Another DT. But is he out of detection range? No. Finished off. Impaled by the spine crawler. It looks like Jakra might actually be splitting his army. The DTs have done terrible, terrible damage, but Jakra has simply made units, whereas Noob from AU hasn't hasn't accomplished that as successfully. There's nothing at home to defend. He's building an oracle, which is an interesting choice. Are there any overseers here? The DTs are working the way they're splitting. There's more production. New from AU still has money in the bank, but Jakra has much, much more. What is this probe doing? I have no idea. But we're, the game, we're 22 minutes in. Jakra at the highest supply anyone's seen in this match. The main base, it looks like, will finally be finished off. But the DT, like, an Oracle comes back and racks up nine kills. Two Stalkers warped in. Two Stalkers, not a counter for 20 Hydra. The Dark Shrine with 41 hit points. Looks like it will be finally finished off. The probes, the refugee probes have no home to go back to. There are no Nexi left with minerals or HP. Jakra, it seems, with the 200 IQ play, finally splits his army into two parts and realizes he can use this to attain victory. Noob from AU with the DT Oracle probe army. Um really trying to use every last unit but he's about to run out of buildings even the probe getting in on this he has nothing to kill an overseer he's rebuilding that's an interesting position to rebuild from gets a, it's the dt's close to the overseer finish them off down goes the oracle looks like noob from au wants to cannon rush again but this is just not gonna happen We've come full circle. He's, he's just building, he's just building pylons. A trail of breadcrumbs, it's that the breadcrumbs are pylons. And once they're all eaten up, he will be eliminated from the match. The probe's on the run. He has enough for four more next eye. Nothing in production for either side. There's only one assimilator and one pylon. He splits the pro. <laughs> he... He will, he refuses to accept the reality of the situation, though we have no idea if he's ever been able or capable uh, of realizing or comprehending reality in the first place. There's one pylon. There, th wait, there, well, there are three more pylons here. A bunch of slow zerglings come out to chase the probes. There, this probe... Three more pylons. Oh, oh. Come on. All right. Come on. Get out of here. Out of. Jocker with a. Whoa. Oh, I, I thought he would almost just. A, if he cancels this Nexus, he eliminates himself, is what happens. Because he, he no longer has any buildings. Builds another Nexus. He cancels. He refuses at two supply over zero. Oh my god. He won't stop. He's still going. And he expands. The probe dies! There's still a. Oh god damn. He doesn't have enough minerals for another Nexus. Not th this is very dramatic. You never know how many more Nexi he's going to be able to build. The answer is 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 none oh don't he's gonna build some pylons oh my god <laughs> <laughs> worth it noob from au deeming this as a uh, valuable use of his time 
happy with what he's accomplished here today. He could rebuild a probe in the sky. I'm coming the entire map. I hate it when I'm coming the entire map, but he seems to enjoy it. So, uh, Jokra, in a hard-fought battle, will manage to come out on top over the Select All Army Hotkey. Also, Noob from AU is Good. in the game. Now I have your attention.